This is the Cottonmouth Kings 21 years ago at the Hunt Ridge in Las Vegas during the heyday era of the group when they were touring the U.S. and internationally alike, packing venues seven days of the week, more often than not, having thousands in attendance, and in some cases, at all ages venues. The group is most known for merging several genres of popular music into their sounds with lyrics surrounding the teenage Southern California beach, skate, and surf culture, while expressing their unmatched love and advocacy for the legalization of cannabis at a time where the only other group pushing music with similar unfiltered messages out onto CDs was Cypress Hill, who the group has collaborated with over the years. I just finished a run on some of the Whiskey and Weed tour stops with Sideways and Cashed Out, where Dustin Parks of Sideways is always showing SRH Spade Love during their sets, and at the Corpus Christi, Texas stop, Danny, who plays bass in Sideways, was wearing an SRH shirt during the set, and after the set ended, a dude in the crowd was chanting, Cottonmouth Kings, Cottonmouth Kings, Cottonmouth Kings, while trying to get Danny's attention. Clearly decades later, music fans all over the U.S. remember the spade as being woven into the fabric of the Cottonmouth King's legacy. I have been involved with SRH Productions and Suburban Noise Records for over 20 years, including being the only person to display the spade on live television while wearing a Cottonmouth King's t-shirt in Lake Havasu City in 2003. Shout out to Kevin Zinger for making that happen. I have also formally and informally interviewed the group over the years, including a full band sit-down at the Glass House in Pomona in 2002. The group has recently reformed with a few new members who have collaborated on various tracks and side projects the band was involved with over the past 20 years that will be further discussed at the end of this clip. Check out the pit action, the safe and healthy stage diving, and the general good vibes going down in this vintage Cottonmouth Kings clip from Vegas 21 years ago. Keep them horns up and shaka. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 
Cause what? People fighting in the streets Thinking it's up You know what? What? People fall about me now But fuck your blood Slip your gear Might as well people with hands in Vegas Make some
In 2013, through creative differences and money, the Cottonmouth Kings officially disbanded, as has happened to many bands in the music scene for similar reasons. Shit, Van Halen had Sammy Hagar for a while, John Karabi replaced Vince Neil and Motley Crue momentarily, and the punk scene has even seen some temporary swap out, with Zoli, formerly of Ignite, filling in for Jimmy Lindbergh of Pennywise. The common thread in all of these bands swapping out members is the original members seem to always find their way back to the fold over time. There has been several attempts at reviving the group over the years, including founding members Dustin D. Loke Miller and Tim Johnny Richter McNutt playing all the hits as Cottonmouth Kings, then D. Loke putting together a project fashioned as a Cottonmouth Kings with a more rock band sound and feel, backed by Chris Gonzalez on guitar from the reggae band $20 Profits. In 2023, founding member d pivoted in a different direction, bringing back the legacy Cottonmouth Kings look and feel, adding several members that have either collaborated with the group over the years or have worked on side projects the band also participated in. The new supergroup is made up of founding member d South Bay reggae punk rock legend and lyricist dog boy of Too Rude, who is featured on Cottonmouth's High Society album, Day One Cottonmouth accomplice and MC in his own right, Chucky Chuck of DGAF and DGAF Clothing, Judge D, another Day One accomplice that has worked with Cottonmouth and Suburban Noise Records over the years on various releases, and last but not least, another Day One disciple, Taxman. That's right, Munchies has re-entered the kingdom. The group performed their first live sets in early 2023, starting with a SoCal run, including a sold-out show at the Whiskey in Hollywood that went straight off the edge. I film most of the show, so those that are interested can find the Whiskey gig on my YouTube channel. 
It's pretty damn impressive to see the hatchets that tore this group apart are slowly being burned and buried in favor of giving their fans all over the world the music many of us grew up on. The newly revamped Cottonmouth Kings are touring extensively again and packing out venues all over the states. New music is underway in the studio and from what I've heard, it's true Cottonmouth legacy business that is going to continue putting the group front and center as they recultivate. Follow the Cottonmouth Kings on Instagram for up to the minute live show information and grab some of their danky, freshly stocked merch at CottonmouthKingsStore.com. Keep them horns up, Shaka, and say goodbye to a tangerine sky and say hello to Tamara.